A couple years ago, I made a video talking about 10 reasons why fans stopped watching WWE. The ratings were dropping and it felt like the product was at an all time low. Things have changed since then. The WWE has been on the rise when it comes to viewership. SmackDown has been sustainable with over 2 million viewers for the last year. Raw is also seeing a comeback as it's been generating 2 million viewers for the first time in years. And the premium live events have reached an all time high in viewership. The company is very healthy right now, and I think it's important to look at 10 reasons why fans have started watching WWE again, starting with number 10, Triple H. One of the biggest reasons why we've seen such a major transformation with the WWE's product and the success that has come with it is a result of Triple H being the head of creative after Vince McMahon temporarily left. McMahon is responsible for some of the greatest moments in wrestling history. That includes the iconic WrestleMania moment when Hogan slammed Andre the Giant or the creation of The Undertaker and the genius of the Attitude Era. Vince delivered some unforgettable experiences for fans. However, he was getting extremely out of touch for many years and the last decade of his career had fans begging for him to retire. And when he finally did, Hunter stepped in and has been killing it in his new role. Old fans have returned and new fans have been attracted. Triple H becoming head of creative is a true game changer for the company. Even when Vince McMahon returned, he couldn't even deny the success of Hunter and has not taken over as the head of creative once again. Triple H is still booking things and people are very happy with it. Number nine, long-term storytelling. With Triple H in charge, one of the biggest differences in the product is the long-term storytelling. While Vince McMahon was running things, the show was really booked on a weekly basis and either didn't have logic or it was pretty much the same repetitive show from the last week and a lot of times the script was ripped up right before the show. Triple H instead focuses on building an experience for the viewer to watch a story progress from the beginning to the end. This gives fans a reason to watch on a weekly basis. A perfect example is the feud between Edge and the Judgment Day. This feud has been going on for nearly a year and when Balor and Edge have their Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania, I will care about that match and I'll be excited to see the payoff. Austin Theory losing the money to make contract is another great example. He lost his cash in and it had an impact on his character and now the fans feel like they have to keep watching to see where that story goes. And if you need one more example, just look at the Bloodline storyline. That is perfect long term storytelling. Number eight, Peacock. In 2021, the WWE sold their pay-per-views to exclusively air on Peacock in the US. This turned out to be a genius idea because of the exposure they've been getting. The WWE Network had a total of 1.6 million users, while Peacock has a total of 30 million active users a month. That is a significant difference. Because of this, pay-per-views have been reaching an all-time high with their numbers. That is great for the WWE. If more people watch, they'll be talking and tweeting more about it, they'll be watching Raw and SmackDown more, and the company will only continue to grow. On top of the increase of the exposure, they also got a billion dollar deal from that, so this is a W move from the WWE that has been helping fans come back to watch once again. Number seven, quality wrestling. One of the issues with WWE before was the lack of wrestling that was featured on Raw and SmackDown. At one point, we were getting a total of 15 minutes of action inside the ring per episode of SmackDown. That is a disgustingly low amount of wrestling for a wrestling show. Look, I love the characters and I love the storylines more than the wrestling itself, but that is not a healthy balance. Triple H has made sure to bring back the wrestling in World Wrestling Entertainment and the fans seem to love it. Who would have thought that wrestling fans would tune in if there was more wrestling on a wrestling show? Number six, returns. The WWE notoriously released many wrestlers since 2020. Big names like Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, Rusev, Samoa Joe, and Aleister Black are just a handful of wrestlers that were fired due to budget cuts. This wasn't a good idea because a lot of fans stopped watching WWE. As more of their favorites were just gone, they didn't feel the need to connect with these wrestlers anymore, only for them to be let go. But since taking over as head of creative, Triple H has brought back many of those names. Bray Wyatt came back and has become a top guy on SmackDown. 
Braun Strowman's return generated a lot of buzz, and he's been a good hand to have around, especially in the tag team division with Ricochet. And Johnny Gargano also returned, which the hardcore wrestling fans were thrilled about. Not only did Hunter bring back his personal favorites, but he brought back so many assets for a wide variety of wrestling fans. A result is higher ratings because fans get to see their favorite wrestlers back on the screen, and we haven't seen many releases since. Number five, listening to fans. A major reason why fans stopped watching WWE was because the company did not listen to their audience. You would think it would be wise to appease the people watching your show. That didn't happen though, and so people were pissed off when they never got something that would have made them happy. The Fiend being buried is one example. Part-timers coming in and taking main event spots is another. And with the new leadership, I've noticed that the WWE has been listening more. And look, we got Bray Wyatt back being booked better than ever before. Part-timers are not coming back to take the main event at WrestleMania. Instead, Cody Rhodes has that spot. And even when WWE originally wanted to split Sami Zayn from the bloodline in August, it was extended because of the crowd's reactions from the storyline on a weekly basis. At the end of the day, if you make the people happy, they will keep coming back. It's literally as simple as that. Number four, prestigious championships. Every championship in the WWE right now feels very special. Gunther has done a really good job at bringing value back to the IC Championship. The same can be said for the US title and that love triangle between Bobby Lashley, Austin Theory, and Seth Rollins. The Usos have been amazing tag team champions. Bianca Belair has been holding it down for the last year as the Raw Women's Champion. Roman's been at the top of the mountain for both world championships. When you have serious champions that treat the belts with respect, it makes the people believe in your storylines, your matches, and your championships. This has contributed to the viewership increasing. Pay-per-views have also become must-see television because those title matches have now a new importance to them that they did not before. Number three, less pay-per-views. A year ago, we would get a pay-per-view every month, and nowadays, we get a pay-per-view every two or three months, and I think this was a great decision. It has a great impact for weekly television as well as premium live events. It's good for Raw and SmackDown because they've been working on making those special jam-packed episodes since there aren't too many pay-per-views, and it feels like Raw and SmackDown are shows you cannot miss anymore. And with less monthly pay-per-views, there's more hype surrounding those big events when they do have them. The WWE choosing quality over quantity has led some more fans coming back to watch. Number two, celebrities. The WWE has done a wonderful job at bringing in celebrities. This has undoubtedly led to an increase in ratings. Throughout the last few years, we saw Johnny Knoxville, Logan Paul, Pat McAfee, and Bad Bunny come into the WWE for some matches, and this has been nothing but great for them. It introduced their product to a wide variety of new eyes. Not only that, but it reintroduced old fans to the current product. I've had many of my friends tell me that they watched some pay-per-views because of these big celebrities, and I hope they continue to bring in more people for that reason. Number one, the bloodline. And the last reason why ratings have been booming is because of the major storyline involving Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, and the rest of the bloodline. Survivor Series and the Royal Rumble saw their biggest viewership rating, and I think we've got to give credit to this storyline. The Royal Rumble segment with the group turning on Sami Zayn was viewed by 20 million people across social media in the first 24 hours. And the SmackDown segment got 15 million views in the first 24 hours as well across social media. That story is legitimately a massive draw for the WWE. It's the biggest draw we've had in years, and it's led to the highest SmackDown and pay-per-view ratings, and I hope you get more stories like this in the future. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.